So, Willie Anderson, former Bengals right tackle, talked to Up and Adams yesterday, K. Adams, about how the movie The Blind Side, if you remember with Michael Orr, recently he actually came out, and now I think he's suing his, fa his family in that movie. Nonetheless, though, that movie actually hurt Willie Anderson when it came to his chance of making the Hall of Fame, which is kind of weird, but... I want to play this and get my thoughts and opinions. Because it kind of speaks very much volumes to how real life is right now. I think the media had a bias because they, they just didn't understand the importance of the guys we blocked over there were some of, some of the best rushes of all time. And the whole blindside thing got taken out because of the movie and it just got pushed the right, the right, you, right side guys got pushed away. You think the Blindside movie <laughs> absolutely. had an effect on oh, your Hall of Fame absolutely. bit? Absolutely. These kids here now, you got some kids who are 18, 19 years old that would tell you, because I train kids out of my academy in Atlanta, I only want to play left tackle. And I say, well, go look at what Panay Sewell's contract was for, for the Detroit Lions this year. You know, $100 million contract. So the kids and their parents, because of the media push of the Blindside wow. left tackle, is a huge deal. But they don't realize guards are getting paid crazy money right now. So it's definitely changed for the better, I think, because all the linemen, they're coming from everywhere now, these, these rushers. Right side, right So I agree with Willie here that, yes, that movie definitely pushed it more into the mainstream media of, like, yeah, the left tackle position is so important. And without the left tackle, you know, oh, nothing. Like, the line can't work without the left tackle, which is... In reality, it takes every single player. There's not, in reality, how do I put this? Not one single position is more valuable than the other when it comes to the offensive line as a unit. Obviously, the left tackle, yes, the blind side is very important to protect. But, you know, if you your left guard sucks, your center sucks, your right tackle sucks, your right guard sucks, the guy is still going to go around somebody else and get to your quarterback. At the end of the day, your offensive line is your wall. And yes, either corner, your right and left tackle are your, you know, blind sides of that wall to shut down your opponent. Now, if you're a right-handed quarterback, it's a little bit easier. Let's say, for example, if someone gets past your right tackle, then your left tackle. You can step up in the pocket and make a move and get around. With your left tackle, it's kind of like, oh, crap. The guy <laughs> got around the guy and bam, I'm, I'm you know, sacked within seconds. So, I do understand what he's talking about. And, again, yes, linemen in general have gotten paid a lot more. Penny Sewell being a good example of that. The highest paid offensive lineman in the league right now is a right tackle. Lane Johnson is also a right tackle. I believe Jordan... Uh, Jordan is also, I believe, no, he's a left tackle, actually. But Lane Johnson is a right tackle. Deion Dawkins, I believe, is a left tackle. Dewan uh, Taylor... Is he a right tackle or left tackle? I I don't exactly remember. He is a right tackle. Ryan Ramchek, I know that for a fact. Um, but yeah, so offensive tackles, right tackles are getting paid big boy money. Same thing with Jonah Williams is a right tackle. He's getting paid big boy money. I think Taylor Decker is their right tackle as well. So yes, I will agree with him that, you know, it's kind of a narrative that has been around forever now. You want to be a left tackle. You want to get paid left tackle money. You know, no one really says get paid right tackle money. And I think a lot of the reasons why is because, you know, that's just not a thing. It's not right tackle money. It's left tackle money. But I think that narrative is starting to change. Because, again, at the end of the day, the offensive line's a unit. It's not just one player. We have saw, we saw it this year. Cordell Volson was absolutely trash. Guess what? Joe was all on his butt. Um, Jonah Williams struggled greatly. Joe was on his butt. It doesn't matter if the rest of the offense line plays perfect. If one position is weak, is weak and lacking, it's going to cause a problem. So, guards in centers also, again, I do believe they're also, you know, getting up there in price tag as well. Um, I don't think it's as crazy, I want to say, but let me see. So, highest paid, uh, let's just put guards. I know Landon Dickerson just got paid the highest paid guard in the NFL history, $21 million per year. It's a four-year contract. 
Um, and that's the Eagles just paid him crazy money. Um, do they have the per year average? Okay, so average 20.5, which is still crazy good money. Uh, compared to tackles, what we just looked at, they were averaging a little bit more. I mean, you get to like the seventh guy, and that's when was I talk about guard money, but it's still a lot of money they're averaging, right? So, next question on that is, did that stop him from getting into a Hall of Fame? My opinion personally is no. I think he's not in the Hall of Fame right now because he was a Bengal. And he played most of his career with the Bengals, and then he went to the Ravens and the Ratbirds for one year. But for the most part, he played with the Bengals. And I think the NFL hates us. And the NFL doesn't want our guys in the Hall of Fame. It took forever for Ken Riley, the Snakes, to get in the Hall of Fame. And I think that is the real big issue. Is It's not an issue of the fact that, you know, the blind side happened. I think it was the fact of were Bengals and they don't like us and they never have so that's just my personal opinion I might be completely wrong it might be you know some other hidden meeting but I think it was the fact that they just don't like us personally but tell me down below your thoughts and opinions guys I'll see you guys in the next one